Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm here for another unboxing. I swear I do things other than unboxings on my channel. I've just been really busy this week in between the two boxes arriving at my house, but I'm here for the August bookship box. And if you guys saw my last bookship unboxing, you'll know why I'm excited for this. My last one was a treat and a half. Like if you want to see some real sexy modeling, go check out that video. So this is for the August the month of August. I don't know why I said the August. Um, so this is for August. So I'm just gonna get into it because I am pumped for this and I'm making it easier on myself because I feel like all I do is talk in the beginning of videos and uh, everybody just wants to see the stuff. So we're gonna get into the stuff right quick. So this is, oh God, okay, there we go. Ooh, ooh, what is this? Do I have a hammock? What is this? This is what I'm seeing. Oh gosh, okay, caught it. But this is like a mesh, what, what is this? I have no idea. So we have the August playlist right here and the spoiler card is on the back of that. Um, what is the theme? Dress for success. And already based on what I'm seeing and what I have no idea what this is, um, I'm gonna say Bookship always includes items that you will never see in another book box. And I think that's why I like them so much because they send out things that are one, usable, like stuff that you can actually use like around your house, not just like sitting on your bookshelf. And two, they're designed for like adults more likely. So it's less like younger oriented items. It's more like useful household things. Um, so what is this? What is this? This, oh my God, is this a bag? This is a huge, like beautiful hammock bag. This is perfect to bring out with me while I read outside. With, oh, the goats will totally eat this. The goats eat everything. So this is awesome. The handles are braided. And this is honestly made from like the same type of roping that you see those like hammock seats made out of. And it's a huge tote bag. Oh my God. I actually love this. I love this a lot. Okay, I mean, this right here made the box worth it for me. Like I said, useful items. This is so stinking cool. And this is really well made. I'm excited for this. Also, the farmer in me is like, that's a perfect hay bag for your goats. Like you can put hay in that and they will eat out of that without getting their faces stuck in it. It's just where my brain goes. <laughs> okay, next thing looks like, is this a bucket hat? Because we brought back the 80s in my last video and I believe is this a bucket hat? I have a tiny head. <laughs> okay, hang on. This, what is this? There's a dangly thing attached to it. And I don't know what that is. Oh, it's like straps. It's just straps to keep it on your head from blowing away. So we've got a lovely gray tone. It has a little like lovely tie on the back so you can actually like fit it to your noggin. It has a strap that you can clip on to the inside. There are little tiny hooks right here to clip a strap on in case you like go out onto the ocean and it's mighty windy. So we got ourselves, that's probably supposed to go in the back. We got ourselves a lovely bucket hat, which I'm gonna need to like size down to my tiny head because I am a tiny human. But this is fun. Next is something that I was just about to actually buy. I'm pretty sure this is like one of those bracelet key rings. And I actually just saw an ad for it because social media is creepy um, that you can use this to like carry your car keys around, which I need. So this is a lovely little rose gold one. It has a little tassel and I believe this is detachable. How do I detach it? Yeah, okay. So it just has a little like you push it in and you can take this off of the actual like handle, but it's designed to just kind of go on your wrist and carry your car keys. So we have like a little white dot pendant, which is kind of cute, a little tassel, and then we have a key ring that you put your keys on. And I actually need this because I wear like a backpack purse, which I love because it leaves my hands free. But the only thing that I don't like is that I tend to have to rummage through for my car keys um, when I'm like out in the parking lot trying to like get to my car and everything. And I don't really like that. So I've wanted to get something similar to this where I just like have my keys on me so I can just like easily get in and out of my car without having a rummage. Brilliant. Again, tiny human, tiny wrists still usable because I actually will probably just like hold on to this. This is really cool. Again, with the usable things. Okay, next it looks like, is this a little necklace or a bookmark? What is this? We have a little tiny pouch with a little thing in it that looks like jewelry-ish, but I'm not positive. I think, oh, 
I know what this is, and I uh, this is funny because this is going to be in an upcoming video of mine. This is an adorable little bookmark. Oh my god, this is so much cuter than the one that I just ordered. Um, okay, I need a book. Hold on. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is how it works. So you hook it over like the page that you're trying to mark where you are in the book, and I believe these little dangly dangly things just hang out of your book or in your book if you really want to, but Oh god. But it can look like that. And this is really cute. I'll zoom in on this so you guys can see like the detail. This is another like little rose gold colored thing. Okay, so it has a really cute little like pink cloud and it has a separate little like raindrop dangly thing. And this is what the clip looks like. So it just goes right over a page of your book. And this part, oh, that's backwards, hangs out and is super cute on your book. Okay, so that's super cute. And it looks like we're down to the last item before we get to the book. And there's usually stuff in the book as well. So we have wax melts, the Beyond Bookship wax melts that they do every month. And this is clean linen. So obviously this is going to smell like clean linen. It says a clean linen scent with a hint of citrus inspired by this month's book, which I won't spoil yet. So we'll see. I have differing opinions about just kind of like linen scents. That's not bad. It smells like laundry detergent. I like the citrus notes in it though. It's not just that like linen cotton scent. It is a little citrusy, which is perfect to finish out the summer months. So we have that as well. And now we are down to the book. So I'm gonna open this up. Let me go find some scissors real quick because I always just like destroy the book in the process if I try and rip this open. Okay, and we are in, we are backwards. There we go, there's the book. The book is A Dress for the Wicked by Autumn Krauss. And I have heard of this book. I haven't heard much about it, to be honest. I actually don't know what the um, synopsis is yet, but I love this cover. Not because I like girls in dresses on covers. I thought we were out of that phase in YA, but I love it because it looks painted. Like it looks like, I don't know, a painting and I just really like it. Um, so this, I believe this has something to do. Oh, right. Actually, hang on. Let me get to this stuff first. So we have a signed book plate from the author that you can stick in your book. We have the sheet that goes in your planner that includes all of the September releases and a book tracker page. And we have the art print from my dear friend Megan. We are featuring a whole bunch of like strong feminine characters from YA every single month. So this is the September one. And oh god, oh god, I'm dropping everything. Okay. Boop, boop. And then it looks like, oh, we have an author letter. This is super cute. And it says author letter on the back. So all of these I will just stuff back in the book. That's what I do with all of, why won't you stay? Okay, we're fine. Okay, so this I heard was advertised as being similar to Project Runway, but in like a YA kind of historical fantasy setting. And that's totally the vibes that I'm getting. And I just read Spin the Dawn, um, which was a book that came out last month, I believe, or two months ago. And it was another book that was kind of Project Runway inspired where it's a bunch of girls who were like in a competition for designing clothing. And this sounds just like it. And I didn't know that I liked that type of story until I read Spin the Dawn. So now I'm like extra excited about this because it was so fun. So this follows Emmeline um, from a little small sleepy country town when she enters a prestigious design competition in the most admired fashion house in the country. So that's super fun. So it literally just sounds like a really fun Project Runway type of story. And this is so cute. What does it look like naked? I'm seeing blue peeking out from the bottom. <gasps> I love that color. It's like a periwinkle blue with black on the spine. Oh, it's gonna be so perfect for bookstagram pictures. So that's the book for this month. And that is all of the stuff. I am so excited about this bag. That's what I think I'm the most excited about. Also for this, because I wanted something like this. So this is very convenient, good timing bookship. So like I said, Bookship always sends really unique items that, that just stand out from all other book boxes because it's all just like things that you can use. Okay, this is just like a mess. I don't know how to organize all of these things nice and lovely looking for you guys on this cart, but that is everything that came in the August box for Bookship. If you guys would like to subscribe, I am a rep for them, so you can use my rep code, which is Chelsea10. You can use that on any of your subscriptions or boxes or whatever you want to do with it. But that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in my next one.